birthday. Wish we were there with you. I was thinking about all your birthdays and how much fun we had. Uh, always, you and I shared our March birthday. Uh, we had shamrocks. We have March Madness. And this year you have the best birthday of all because you have your new place to live in. You have Jess. And now you have your beautiful baby, Marin. Have a great birthday and we'll see you soon. I love you. Hi, Sean. It's Dad, obviously. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, I was I was thinking back to your various birthdays and the fun we had. And I was thinking of other times when we had fun too. Two really stand out. Uh, and I'm sure you remember uh, going out duck hunting, uh, more, the more recent time we went out. Um, I don't think we really got anything. I think you thought you did, but you really didn't. Uh, but it was just a lot of fun being out there. And then I was also thinking about uh, some of the camping trips that uh, you went on uh, with the Boy Scouts. And uh, the one that stands out, of course, of all of them is the time that uh, we were up in the Poconos and uh, Andy threw uh, black powder into the fire. And after the explosion and after the fathers came, started up the hill to find out what the heck was going on, all we heard was you yell, Andy, you are one crazy son of a bitch. You were about four years old at the time. Not exactly those words. <laughs> you just can't say the other words. That's right. But uh, So listen, have a happy birthday. Uh, take care of yourself and the baby and Jess. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. We love Sean. Yes, we do. We love him a lot. We love lots of things about Sean. What do you love the most? I love how optimistic he is about the world and about the people around him. I love how excited he gets about every single thing he does. Yes, but the most important thing is that he is optimistic and he sees the best in our daughter, Jessica. He does, and I think he sees the best in us too. I hope so. <laughs> and everyone else. <laughs> We love you. Happy love birthday. You. Happy birthday. Hi, Sean. Happy birthday. Hi, Sean. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Tommy, what's your favorite thing about Sean? Uh, his hair is popping the glasses. His Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> Kelly, what's your favorite thing about Sean? Um, he always puts us upside down. That's true. Tug, what's your favorite thing about Sean? Um... Gosh, I guess that you stick um, Roman candles in your butt. Ew. <laughs> Roman candles in your butt. I think my favorite thing about Sean is, um, hmm, there's just so many things to say. I guess I'll do my favorite memory with Sean. My favorite memory with Sean is when we were little and we would go on trips and he would sing songs like a maniac. Why is my hair like that? Oh, sorry, Sean. Anyway. Uh, what do you guys want to do with Sean when they come home to visit? You with Sean? Yeah, what do you want to do with Sean when he comes home to visit? We play yoga with him. You're going to yoga with him? That's yeah. so nice, Kel. And I'll let him use my yoga mat. That's so nice. And what about baby Marin? Baby Marin? I'm going to yeah. go. I'll hold her in my arms and swing her. Oh, that's I'll so just... nice, Kel. Just like Sean does to you guys. Sit down. I'll just watch you do yoga. You'll just watch. Well, what else do you like to do with Sean? about all the silly things in the in the bay go swimming in the bay that's a favorite memory right yeah yeah i don't think we can do that when it comes out. why when are they gonna be when are you guys gonna be here they're gonna be here in april and july oh okay we can do that in july and they're gonna be here for night in venice nice. so for night in venice july. we're gonna do gonna be here for our favorite day. comedy show right our favorite sitcom for Night in Venice. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting, I'm sure. Love. All right, we love you, Sean. Bye. Bye. Have a good Bye. night or day or whenever you're watching Bye. this. We love you and miss you. Bye. Can't wait to see you guys. Bye. Go Eagles. Happy birthday, Happy Sean. Happy birthday. This is such a great idea, Jess. Can't wait to see you guys and- uh, Meet Marin. Yep, and uh, we're uh, so excited that uh, we'll see you guys at the end of April. Happy birthday, we love you. Love you, happy birthday. Happy birthday.
Have a birthday, Eagle. Sean. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sean. One of my most early and fondest memories of you is when you and Jess came home to visit from college and I came home from school and you guys came out to say hi and you ran towards me along the driveway and swooped me up in one arm and swung me around. It's one of my most favorite memories that I can remember that early. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. One of my favorite things about Sean is that he always asks if you want anything before he leaves the room. Hold on. I want to be funny, but I have a flu, so I don't have the strength. Plus, laughing hurts. So, Sean, you're a good uncle to Aiden, and as one of the other non Ferrises in the family, you have been very lucky. Thank you. Also, yeah, you're all right. Hi, Rennie. Hi, Rennie, baby. Hi. What's your favorite part about Papa? Hmm? Is it when he holds you on his head? Yeah? Like a hat? Or is it when he tells you that you're perfect? Yeah. Or he tells you that you're funny. Say happy birthday, Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Yeah. Happy ready. Happy birthday. Hello, Sean. I just wanted to say hello to you. Wish you well. Uh, I'm here. I should be in Cambridge, but I'm never good with geography, so I happen to be down at Princeton. Behind me, you can see the drain spout with the Yale Bulldog on it in the middle of the Princeton campus. The uh, architect, I think, was a Yale guy who did that, but it's in sort of not in the sun. I'm not sure if you can pick it up. The other frightening, the thing that's more aesthetically frightening is me, so if I can try to figure out how to turn this around, you won't have to look at me. Anyway, uh, if you can see in the background the rest of the campus, there's a nice sundial in the background. Do you see that? Here's that the... Uh, the classes there was a good way to get out of the building. I had the perfect excuse that the uh, that we had noises of trucks on the on the street outside. Anyway, I wanted to say my favorite memory of you is uh, when you were younger, uh, you know, about a month ago, uh, when I would stay at your folks' house, you would constantly uh, wake me up. And so it's kept me on the straight and narrow because if I ever had to be afraid of what hell is like, that was a good example and uh, utterly memorable. And uh, above all, I hope happy at birthday. I hope you're well. Thanks for all the good you do. We really miss having you on the other coast. Uh, Robes and Gray, the old law firm, had a uh, had a uh, had a uh, a lawyer there. Uh, thinking, mentioned one of the old partners that he was thinking of moving to California and the elderly partner there on Beacon Hill said that you can't possibly go to California. The young guy said, why not? He said, well, don't you realize, in typical Boston view, uh, don't you realize that California is uh, 3,000 miles from the ocean? And so I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to warn you. Take care and God bless. I hope you're well. Sean, this is Marianne. How you doing, hon? Happy birthday. I hope it's so wonderful. Um, I was... The instructions say to talk about my favorite memory of you, and I actually have two. One from Lacey's wedding here in Georgia, where you had the best time of anybody. And the other one is when you were three, and we were getting ready for your birthday. And you wanted a motorcycle and a motorcycle helmet. And so, <laughs> there you go. I'm, I'm just so delighted. I, I, I'm so happy that I always have the memory of you and Jess at your wedding, and uh, your happiest day ever until little Baron came along and she is gorgeous. So enjoy and have a wonderful day and I love you, bye-bye. So I was asked to put together a list of my favorite memories for uh, Senor Schweigels and the list that I put together and submitted to the FCC all came back as um, inappropriate and uh, unpublishable. Uh, but I will remember one horrifying detail. Uh, about sitting a full year at Octagon Research Solutions, having to stare at Biggles at the coffee maker every morning. That's the only one that passed censorship, so that's the one we'll go with. Hey Biggs, Perk here. Um, I would have to say some of my favorite memories of you um, are uh, better left unsaid on video camera. Um, I don't think we want any type of evidence for those, um, for your sake and mine. Um, but I can say that uh, I'm 
fortunate enough to know you because you do uh, always bring a smile and uh, laughter when you're around. Um, sometimes at your own expense, but I think you do that on purpose just to make sure everyone's having a good time. Um, hope to see you back in the area very soon. Um, looking forward to it. Happy birthday. Hey, Sean. I guess that like uh, this is going to be a nice day or a nice present for you. And so if I have to remember some good memories and presents from uh, when we, from all the time that we spent together, I guess that the best one is your crazy ideas about uh, how we should enjoy our time in, uh, in college and especially when like you know you propose that we all would shout Shazam in the middle of uh, a very serious sentence about summarizing political science uh, concepts and um, and when I mean like uh, there are so many things that I have to remember we, but I guess that we're gonna have so much fun together in the next few days, weeks, and uh, that's we're better off if we celebrate your birthday all together. So, happy, happy birthday. birthday! Good morning, Sean. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And I also wanted to share with you one of my favorite memories of you this past week. You were putting Marin out in the car so you guys could go home, and it was taking you a little bit longer to put her in her car seat than I would have thought. So I asked you if everything was okay. And you told me, yes, I'm just telling Marin how perfect she is. I just want to say what a great dad. Happy birthday. All right, Noah, it's our friend Sean's birthday. What do you want to say to him? Happy birthday, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. And what is one present you think he should get for his birthday? Um, a new computer. Wow, a new computer. Wow. All right, Bigley, that's one vote for that column. <laughs> Here's Chris Derry. Happy birthday. And honey, what is one thing that you remember about Sean? thing that I remember about Sean. So I was a little prepped. One thing that I was thinking about is that if I recall, he's like a reasonable conservative. Yeah. And Thank God. in these days, I'm always like, where are the reasonable conservatives? And then I remember Sean. What's Bigly tweeting? Yes. That's what I mean. So I very much appreciate that. Look, I was prepping you uh, apple juice. <laughs> That's right. All right, happy birthday from Aaron. Aaron, you want to say anything to Sean? All right. Happy duty, Dee Happy duty, Dee Dee. That's pretty classic. All right, and now we... Let me, let me do the flip. Here yes. we go. Sean Bigley. There are too many, many memories to say. Give me some more apple juice. Um, <laughs> I mean, many years ago when I met you on Third Floor Crosser, I knew you were like a cooler version of what one might assume was happening on Third Floor Crosser. It was a lot of nerdiness, a lot of other stuff, but you were like a real cool human and it was so great. And what then when Jess was dating you, I was like, yeah, this is getting good. Married you, then you had a baby. It's like great. These are the kind of humans we want to be added to the planet, including normal conservatives. We're like, that's pretty exciting news. Given everything, happy dang birthday, Sean Bigley. We love you. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Peace and bye. Thumbs up. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, man. Important to me in life that I'm actually recording this one out one day and 13 hours ahead of time. So, Sean, you know, since I love to run behind on my deadlines, that you know you're incredibly important to us. Uh, you know, you came into our live two years ago, and uh, I have to say, I never would have made it through McKelter Young without you. And that uh, even though we're separated by uh, you know what 2,000 a thousand miles now that we still pretty much consider you family. So I uh, want to just give a shout out to the other members of the Bigly crew um, who, uh, even though we haven't met you, Marin, I know that you love Jane Best and I'm <laughs> only going to hold that against you for um, two years of your life, at least until you're talking. So um, thanks, Sean. I'm sure uh, Jane's going to jump in with something here now because she's the, the real wordsmith of this family. Happy birthday, Sean. We love you. Philly Dilly! Happy birthday, Sean, from the city of brotherly love and the kingdom of the eagles. Happy birthday, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. 
Uh, thanks so much for everything that you guys have done. In fact, uh, I wanted to let you know that the pound cake I made for your wedding, I'm renaming it to Sean Bigley's Pound Cake. Uh, thank you so much for being a great cousin. You make me laugh and you're such a very nice man to Jess. Go ahead, huh? Okay. Hi, Sean. You know I love you a lot and I wish you the best birthday ever. And my favorite Sean story is one night you came over for dinner. And by the way, you're the only one of the nieces and nephews who ever stops by for dinner. And Danny was cutting up his meat and spaghetti sauce went all over the place. And I got frustrated. And you just took Danny's napkin, folded it over so nobody would know, and saved the day. The Sean I know is a wonderful, wonderful man. He's a great husband, a great father, and a wonderful nephew. And I love you very much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. Philly Day! <laughs> Yo, Biggs. Happy birthday. Congratulations on becoming a father and basically just rocking life. Uh, wish you were back east, home out here, where we could uh, get together more, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, favorite thing about Sean, uh, I guess would be his commitment to life and living life and making the most of everything. Favorite memory with Sean, I guess would be the fact that we fought so many times, but neither of us ever beat each other up. Thank God that would be bad. Uh, but the, I mean, that also goes along with all the times we spent in uh, Ocean City trying to surf or trying to, you know, attempting to surf in New Jersey and uh, all the different shore houses and all the different times you welcomed me into your home. Um, favorite thing about you would just be, goes back to point one, just your commitment to life and uh, how you really do dominate everything once you decide to put your mind to it. Uh, you're one of the smartest guys I know, you're one of the kindest people I know, and I can only imagine that you're one of the best uh, husbands slash father uh, that uh, moving forward with your family now, so scary, um, that's gonna, that you could be. Uh, thanks for always being my friend, man, sticking by me. Even, even when the years, you know, separated us and everything, I uh, feel like I could only, just like Mac, I could always just lean back on you when I needed to. And I hope you felt the same way. Happy birthday and have a good one, brother. Hey, Sean, it's Peg. Wish you a very happy birthday. Um, my favorite memory of you probably was in the car with Aunt Betty. Um, we passed by a Wendy's and you went absolutely berserk. I think you were like two years old. Um, you, you knew you wanted French fries in the worst way. We went running. Um, Aunt Betty was like trying to figure out what you wanted, but she magically came up with the right solution. Um, and you were a very happy camper. Uh, so stay happy. Enjoy your own new little one. I hope the baby's doing great and we wish you the best. Take care, hon. Bye-bye. Hey, Sean. Uh, happy birthday. Um, hope it's a good day for you uh, with your family. Um, thanks for being always a good, being always being a good friend and uh, being there when it's most important. Uh, Libby wants to wish you a happy birthday too. What do you say, Libby? What do you say? Happy birthday, Bigly. All right. Happy birthday, man. Schwiggles. Well, I tell you, brother. Congratulations, and uh, hope all is well. Time will tell, you definitely did turn it around. And uh, I wish you the best. And definitely miss you, brother. And hope all is well. And love up on that baby for me, man. And hopefully we can get our kids together and they can play and stuff. All right, take care, brother. Have a good one. Hi, Sean. It's Joanna. And Reed, we haven't gotten to meet yet. Um, we just wanted to share our favorite memory of you, which was during our well time law class. You weren't there yet. Um, and I just remember Professor Abouhaj calling on you some... 
the main question. Uh, and I'm sure you answered it completely correctly, but you also mentioned something, and Professor Abulhaj said, well, Sean, you've taken us to the Great Depression, and you responded with, wasn't that Hoover? And you, like, gave the biggest smile, like, right, right, guys, am I right? And it was absolutely perfect because it combined my favorite things, which is nerd humor and talking back to authority. So thank you for being one of my favorite memories from law school and for being one of the funniest people I've ever met. Um, happy birthday. You're so lucky to be spending it with two of the greatest women in the world. So send our love to Jackson Marin and have a fantastic time. We love you. Hey, buddy. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Um, I was just going to tell a little story. I don't know if it's favorite memory or anything like that, but I think it's appropriate given that it's birthday. Um, a couple years ago, um, it was my birthday and, you know, a bunch of us were going to get together, but it was a blizzard around here. So nobody could really make it out. But uh, a couple of people did. And obviously, Sean was one of the people that did. And he didn't know anybody else, but you know, as Sean always does, he just makes friends with everybody he meets. And uh, he was he was great that day. And I think he blew the bartender's mind because he ordered a hot toddy at, at the London down the street. So uh, it was a lot of fun, and it just goes to show how awesome of a guy you are, buddy. Well, happy birthday! We miss you guys. Can't wait to see you again. Happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday, Sean! You're the most genuine guy I know. Uh, I know if I'm ever in trouble, you would be there to help me out. Who would have believed it was 11, 12 years ago when we first met in Roebuck? All those major parties we had, those are lasting memories I'll keep to the end of our days. Um, from being absolute delinquents to what we are now, who would have taught us? Both of us married, you with, you're a father, for God's sake, who would have believed that? Anyways, happy birthday and wishing you all the best. Corbin Dallas, multi-pass. Oh shit. Sorry, that's uh, the wrong video. I'm, I'm trying to get a part in The Fifth Element on Broadway on ice. You know, gotta do what you gotta do to pay the bills, right? Anyway, bigly happy birthday, my friend. Um, I saw the email. I'm getting this done at the last minute, you know, because that's how I like to do things. But it's gonna get in on time, right? So, oh, hold on. My wife wants to say happy birthday. Say happy birthday, honey. It's Sean's birthday. Oh, she's still in bed. She's a little cranky. Her name's Rosewood Gibson. It's kind of a funny name. I think it's Dutch. Anyway, um, I have a little joke with her. You know, every time Rosewood, I would too. <laughs> so it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Let's get to those questions. I hate questions. So, what's my favorite memory of you? Dude, you want me to pick one? Okay. My favorite memory of you is when, <laughs> is when I was dating that girl in college and you told me, you, you told me she has an ass like she just got out of prison. I, I still don't know what that means, man. <laughs> like, um, more recently, I'd say working for Tom. And you know what that means. That was fucking crazy. Um, but it was a good memory because you were there. Which is my next question, or the next question I have to answer. What is my favorite thing about you? And this is easy. You are a bon vivant, my friend. You walk into the room and it's just better. People actively participate in your presence. They are, you know, what's Sean gonna do now? What book did he read? What's he gonna tell us? He's gonna tell us something that wouldn't be funny unless he told us. Yes, you are a bon vivant. That's French, by the way, so if you don't understand it, I don't know, go look at the Statue of Liberty, remind yourself that that came from the French, and learn some French, okay? Apprendez-vous. Now, my own personal message. Happy birthday, dude. You've been in my life for a while. You've been a big part of my life, more and more increasingly recently. 
uh, you brought me burritos while I was studying for the bar exam, and that was huge because I was starving and I didn't even realize it. Um, so I'm sure I'll see you soon. We live right down the street from each other, but for now, I love you, buddy. Happy birthday. Oh, hello. I've come to wish happy birthday to my friend. Not many people know. Sean and I know each other a long time. We know each other so long, longer than take to race hippo. And in fact, we race hippo together. So they say, man who race hippo together, they become blood brothers. It is time that we became blood brothers. And we do this today on the day of your birth. Okay, this is problem. Oh, too much. Okay. Hello and happy birthday, Sean. Uh, let's see, so my favorite thing about Sean Bigley would be um, uh, his boyish enthusiasm, uh, his uh, zest for life, uh, the fact that he uh, wound up marrying Jess, which is a very good call on your part. She's awesome. Um, so well done. Uh, other than that, um, uh, my favorite thing and also the most frustrating thing about Sean is that uh, he's very uh, uh, well thought out. Uh, very sincere, very uh, knowledgeable in the things that you wind up arguing with him about. So I've always appreciated that, and I appreciate uh, you uh, always pushing me to really think about my points of view on shit, uh, regardless of the fact that it, it might be a little annoying at times, uh, that you always, um, well, you always seem to be right. So uh, anyway, uh, it's been a joy knowing you. Uh, you're, you're one of the good ones, and I'm a big fan of yours. So uh, happy birthday, and I'll uh, see you soon, brother. Take care. Hey Sean, happy birthday. I um, just wanted to put this video out real quick to uh, wish you a happy birthday and tell you what my favorite thing about you is. Well, you gotta say there's a, you have a very strong ability to shed criticism and I uh, find it amazing and um, resilience is unmatched. So um, I think that's one of the, the greatest things that I've learned from you is to uh, just be resilient, you know? Secondly is you're, you're not scared to try new things. You have zero hesitation and, uh, you know, exploring the world. And I think that's a pretty awesome thing. And if you can pass those on to your baby girl, she's going to have a great life as well. So happy birthday, dude, and uh, take care. Hey, Sean. Happy birthday. Jess, I'm sorry I'm sneaking this in right under the wire, but I think this is an awesome idea. I know you asked for, for you know, my best memory with Sean, and it's hard to pick one, but I think if I had to go back, uh, I would say that one of the best times we spent together was at the, the Phillies Parade on Broad Street in 2008. Just, I'd never seen, you know, the city of Philadelphia so happy, and, and it was awesome to be able to, to share that with you and Pete. I wish we could have done the same for the Eagles Parade, but I'm sure you celebrated as much as having a newborn would allow. Uh, hopefully we'll get to do it again soon. I think uh, I think we've, there's some successful years ahead for, for Philadelphia sports. You know, I've always looked up to you as as uh, as a as a role model, and, and I've been inspired by you know, your passion for reading and learning, and I've really, really tried to to incorporate that into my career, especially with you know the job that I've taken. Um, doing research and just trying to be as, you know, as intellectually curious as I can. And, and I really use you as a role model. I know you're always someone I can go to for a great book recommendation or for, you know, a, a, you know an inspiring conversation about whatever the topic might be. Um, so I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you for, you know, everything you've done for me over the years. And, and, uh, and I just hope you have an amazing birthday. Um, you know, I'm so happy for you and Jess and Marin and, and I'm just, Marin and I were so happy we were able to share, you know, that special moment with you guys out in, in California at the wedding and, and uh, you know, can't wait to meet the little one. Um, hopefully that's soon. 
but happy birthday. I love you. Happy birthday to 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 you. Happy birthday to